Okay, this one's especially for Vonda, who's asked me a few questions about GoodNotes and Procreate products that she's bought from my Etsy store. So the first one, one I want to cover is regarding GoodNotes and pages, uh, the pages that I have created for GoodNotes. So when you open GoodNotes, if you look at the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see Options. Click on that and then click on template library. When you first open it, you probably only have these covers and papers that, that come with good notes, but you can actually create your own folders. Mine, I've called my covers, or in papers, I've called it my papers. <clears throat> and to do your own collection, all you have to do is hit the plus button, call it whatever you like, okay, and then you'll have that there for yourself. So I'll go to my papers because um, this is all about adding a, I've got a whole lot of mine in here already, but this is how you go about doing it properly so that it is not importing an image, it's importing a page. So we hit the edit button at the top right there and then the plus symbol. So when you have bought a page from my Etsy store for good notes, you should have saved it to your iPad camera roll. So that will be then in the photos, you'll find pages. I'm just going to go down until I see a little folder that I created in um, my camera roll. So what's this one? I don't even know which one this one is, but I'll import that. Now that's just imported it immediately into my template library and there it is right down there at the bottom. It's the grid page, double spread. Okay, I'll hit done. Click off that. Now it doesn't matter what I open, I could open my bullet journal. <clears throat> and then to, if I wanted to add a different page, say in between these or at the beginning or wherever you like to add a page, let's go back to, I'll just click the index here, go back. Say I want to add a new page, a blank page, just after this page. All I have to do is go up here to the top left and hit the plus button. Add page below. That's what I'm going to do because if I add page above, it will go in front of this page. So it'll be over this side. But if I add page below, it'll be the next page over. So add page below. Then I'll look in my papers, which I created. There's the papers. There's my papers. Scroll all the way till you find the one that you want. And there it is. And that's as easy as that. It is now a page that you can write on. And it's in between that and my next page. So what size is that too? So now you can just do whatever you like. And the thing is that if you wanted two, three, four of these, um, all you have to do is once again hit the plus button, add page below or page above if you wanted a page before this one and choose whichever paper you like. It could be anything. And it's as simple as that. So there you go. Hope that helps.